The good news is that most of our learners with Down syndrome are strong visual learners. That makes whole word reading coupled with phonemic awareness much easier. That's the good news. The bad news is that our little learners are skillful at pretend reading or fake reading or whatever you want to call it. They quickly memorize the sentence that goes with a picture on a page. And so when you get to that page, they say the sentence, which can mislead mom, dad, and teachers into thinking, whoa, they're really reading. Nope. So how do we work around this and stop this bad habit before it becomes ingrained? I suggest three ways. First, make sure you're teaching them with the actual whole child reading method. Take a look at my book by the same name if you need to refresh your memory on this. They're not going to learn quickly and retain the information unless you're using both the fast flash method and sandwich style teaching. So take a look at my YouTube channel if you want to see some videos on those two techniques. So you're fast flashing a group of five cards three times in a row. Or maybe for a more advanced learner, you're flashing two groups of cards, maybe three groups of cards. Then you're reading the book or material that those words are in, and then you're flashing again, the same words that you flashed beforehand. So that's the fast track in to brain retention and real learning. So that's your first tip. And here's your second tip. Use the magic decoding card trick. And no, I didn't give it that name, but the mom of one of my students did because she said, whoa, that works so well. Is that a magic card? So here's how it works. You take a blank card about the size of a business card. And as your reader is coming along and stumbles over a word, cover immediately, just real quickly, cover everything except the first letter and then ask, what's that sound? Encourage them to get that sound, especially with an emergent reader, you may need to give them that sound. Then when they get that sound, pull the card away and show just the first syllable. Encourage them to get that. Once they've gotten that, then you pull the card away quickly to show the rest of the word. Now, this is a word you're already fast flashing, so they've got a head start in decoding it. Typically, they'll get the whole word at that point. So I've just shown you how to use that magic decoding card if you're working with flashcards. But if you're working with a reading book, the technique is the same. You simply cover everything except the first letter of whatever the troublesome word is, and then proceed with the rest of the technique. Using this simple card will help train your learner to stop and look. Unless a learner is taught how to decode, they don't know that they can. They want to please mom or dad or teacher, and they really want to learn how to read. So in their little minds, they figure saying something, anything is better than nothing. So they guess. <laughs> so we want to stop this in its tracks before it gets really started and really ingrained as a habit. The third tip is this. Use personal pages as a generalizing tool, a tool that will help you understand if they actually know those words and can read them anywhere, or if they've simply memorized words with a picture, for example. So for example, let's say your learner is reading my I Want Pizza book. And of course you're using the flashcards, so they're learning those words you think and you hope. So you would create a personal page. You can check on my YouTube channel to see how that's done. So let's say your personal page, which of course has no pictures, says, I want pizza for breakfast. Mama wants pizza for dinner. Daddy wants pizza for dessert, etc." That will help you understand if they're actually able to generalize those words. It's so much easier to stop guessing in its tracks before it becomes a habit. And so I hope these tips help you. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.